How you doing today, guys? Welcome back to another day of Seven Great Math. This is Mr. Gomez, your favorite teacher in the whole world. And today we're gonna keep talking about volume, but this time we're gonna be talking about volume of prisms. Those are kind of like boxes, things like that, like pools. How much water can you put in on a pool? Oh, there's a. Those are rectangular prisms, and we're also gonna be doing triangular prism. And the only difference is that the base of a triangular prism is a triangle. I don't want to start yet. First, I'd like to invite you to go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you want to support this channel. Link that in the description. Make sure you turn the notifications bell on. That way you don't miss any future content. And if you haven't seen my other channel, MTV Alex, I can leave a link for you over here. And let's go ahead and talk about this. Now, this assignment or this uh, paper is going to be the same as the previous video. We talked about this same... Um, uh, paper on the previous video but on the previous video we did uh, pyramids and I show you the formulas the formula sheet and all that so let me go ahead and go back to the formula sheet real quick and here we have it now this is gonna be volume of prisms now the formula is almost the same as the one for pyramids except we don't have to divide by three this time and it's still we have the uppercase b which stands for area of the base so we are also going to be using the area formulas from time to time well in every single question actually now on the previous video i'll also, sh I'll also show you a quick fast way method on how to do this and that's also recorded in a previous video but let me show you that real quick and that was actually on this paper and the video that we did for this one right now uh, and I can probably leave a, leave a link for you over here so make sure you check some of those videos out or you can just go ahead and check the playlist now we learned that there's a fast way to find the volume of rectangular pyramids and triangular pyramids so there's also a, a fast way to find the volume of rectangular prisms it's actually super easy and also triangular prisms the only thing is that these are based on the formula, so using the formula is always a good thing. But the, let's see right, what it says over here. Right here, number six, that's a, triangle, a rectangular prism that's just like a box. Formula is volume equals area of the base times the height or the depth of that box. And the fast way to do a rectangular prism or a cube is just to multiply the three sides and you're done. If you need to find the volume of a box, of a pool, of a rectangular prism, you just get the length, width, and height, multiply them, you're done. That's the, th that's the fastest way. Now, if we look at the triangular pyramid, I mean prism, if we look at a triangular prism, it's going to be a little bit different. Because if you notice, if you have two of these side by side and you stack them together, you're going to make a, a box or a rectangular prism. If you have two triangular prisms and you stack them one next to each other, you're going to make a whole rectangular prism. So that means if you multiply the three numbers that they give you and then divide by two at the end, you're going to get the volume of a triangular prism. Again, the fast way to find the volume of a triangular prism is to multiply the three numbers and then divide by two, divide by two, right here. This is for number two, I mean triangular prism. That means that the base is a triangle. The fast way to do a triangular prism is multiply the three numbers and then divide by two, that's it. Now let's go back to that page that we're gonna be working on today. Here we are, and again, this is the same one as the one that we did before. I'll leave a link for you for, the, for this one, which is the, uh, the pyramids, just triangular and triangular pyramids, I'll leave a link for you over here. So, on this one, we're just gonna be working on the blue ones, whatever I have circle blue, that's what my students are gonna be working by themselves, and I'm gonna go over a couple of examples that have the blue asterisk. So, like for example, this is page, two that's page one we don't have anything that to do on page one there's a triangular prism right there that tent is a triangular prism because the base is right here and there's also one on the back so remember the difference between triangle uh, prisms and pyramid prisms have two bases 
and pyramids only have one base, okay? That's very important to know, especially when we talk about surface area. So, over here on page two, number two, it says, a paperweight has the shape of a triangular prism with a height of five centimeters. The area of the base of the prism is 24 square centimeters. What is the volume of the paperweight? And just like on the previous video, if they already give you the area of the base, that's the value that you're gonna put in for the uppercase B, so you don't need to find it. You don't need to find the area for it because they're already giving it to you. So, what I like to do first, always, when we're talking about shapes, I like to go ahead and draw them. So I know the paperweight is a triangular prism, so I'm just gonna draw two triangles and connect the three sides. Now my base is gonna be right here at the front. It's the shape of a triangle, and also at the back, the shape of a triangle. So I'm gonna draw that on the side. So the triangle, and then look at what it says. The paperweight of the, it has the shape of a triangular prism with the height of five centimeters, that's gonna be the H. And the area of the base of 24 square centimeters, this is uppercase V. What is the volume of the paperweight? So you're looking for V. The formula is V equals big B times the height. So we're just gonna substitute the values that we know and multiply, okay, that's simple. So, since they already gave us the area of the base, I don't need to find using the formula for the area of a triangle because it's already given to me. And I know that this is going to be 24. And whenever I'm talking about area, I like to draw or write the number inside the shape. That, that way I know it's gonna be for the area. The inside is the area. So this is gonna be big B. The height is gonna be the distance between the two bases. So let me do that in a different color. The H right here is gonna be the distance between the two bases. Because the bases, they never touch. They're parallel to each other. So the distance between those two is going to be in this case pi. And we're talking about centimeters. Now all we have to do is multiply. So V equals, instead of big V, I'm gonna use 24. And instead of H, I'm gonna use five. 24 times 5, if 25 times 5 is 125, 24 times 5 is going to be 5 less than that, so it's going to be 120. So the volume equals 120 centimeters cubed, which is C. That simple. Again, if they give you the area of the base, there's no need to, there's no need to find uh using it the formula so just go ahead and put it in the values multiply the two numbers you're good to go now number let's see next page page number three question three look at this we have a basket a basket in the shape of a rectangular prism we have a box it's just a rectangular prism dan is filling a rectangular picnic basket keyword rectangular that way you know that the basis are gonna be rectangles. So the bases are gonna be rectangles, right there. Okay, those are my bases. The dimensions of the picnic basket are shown below. What is the total volume? So we're looking for V. Remember the formula is big V times the height or the, the, the height, remember the height is gonna be the distance between the two bases, okay? The distance between the two bases. So if I already selected my two bases to be the green ones, all I have to do is draw a line connecting them right there and look at what number is below that. What number is that? That number below that is 1.5, so that has to be my H on the formula. Now, all I have to do is find the area of the base, which in this case is gonna be this one right here. Draw it on the side, and it says that the bottom is nine, the top is 15. 
that's a rectangle so the area of a rectangle is just base times height remember I don't care about this right now okay I don't care about that right now I'm only lo looking at this I'm gonna show you using the formula and using the fast way okay so 9 9 times 15 is going to be how much 135 so the area of this is 135 inches squared but remember this is also big B area of the base so I already know everything that I need to know so if I put those number back into the equation V equals instead of uppercase B I'm gonna use 135 times the height or the distance between the two bases which is 1.5 so I know it has to be more than 135 by one half so I think my answer is actually gonna be B but before I multiply just look at the numbers because if I look at 1000 and 2000 that's way too much so estimating just by looking at it I think it's gonna be B it's not gonna be A because it cannot be that it has to be more than 135 so 135 times 1.5 gives me 202.5 inches cube so my answer was indeed B now the fast way to do this if you're looking for the volume if you're looking for the volume the fast way to do this is to just take the three the three numbers multiply them 9 times 15 times 1.5 equals 202.5 same thing and you can multiply in any order it does not matter the product is not going to change if you have any questions uh, so far please leave them down in the comments below so I think the next one that we're gonna work on is one of the ones that we have to work backwards so let's see number no number two we haven't done a volume of a triangular prism so this is I'm gonna show you the two ways the fast way and the regular way using the formula it says the volume of the triangular what is the volume of the triangular prism below Mm -hmm. if they tell you that it's a triangular prism that means that the base is a triangle so what I want you to look do now is look at the shape and underline those triangles boom then I want you to make a line on one of the corners that's connecting those two triangles so in this case I'm just gonna make a line right here okay that's the distance between the two prisms, I mean the two uh, bases. So this must be my H. That's the height. And then what I want you to do is I want you to draw that triangle on the side and I want you to label it. This is seven, that's five. Next, I'm gonna find the area for that thing. I'm not looking at this right now at all. I don't care about that one right now. So I'm gonna find the area for that triangle. So area equals base times height divided by two, right? So now I'm gonna take seven times five, which is 35, and then divide by two. And 35 divided by two is going to be what, 17.5? So the area equals 17.5. Uh, these are inches squared. Now remember this is also uppercase B right there. Now the formula for volume, now we're gonna go back to the shape. We care about that now. We're looking for V equals big V times the height. We already found everything that we needed to find and we're just gonna substitute the values in. Okay? Now remember, this H and this H, they're not the same. 
That's why I said don't look at the prism right now. You're only looking at the base. Because they're not the same. They're different heights for different things. Okay? So don't get those two confused. So now I'm going to substitute the values in. So for big B, I have 17.5. And for my height, I have 12. So that means that I have to multiply those two things. And when I do, I get 210 inches cube. So my volume equals 210 inches cube, which is in this case, A. Now, the fast way to do this, the fast way to do this, the fast way, I'm going to take that number, this number, and this number. And I'm going to multiply them the fast way. So 5 times 7 times 12. 5 times 7 times 12 gives you 420. Last step, divide by 2, which is 210. And that's it. Whenever you have a triangular prism and you need to find the volume, multiply the three numbers and then divide by two. That's it. That's it. Now let's see if we have one that we can work backwards. Let me look. Let's look at number four on page one. Number four on page one. It says, Tom and Wayne have a 10 that is a triangular prism okay we talked about this at the beginning of this page i didn't go over it but i did highlight but i'm going to re-highlight them in a different color so that you can see them triangular prism that means that my bases are triangles the distance between them is that red number so that's going to be the height remember the formula v equals big b h this case H is red okay so I'm gonna make this blue just to differentiate so the volume of the tent is 280 cubic feet so they're telling me that V equals 280 I know the height is 10 so what is the height what is the height of the tent? Not the length, because look, the length is 10. It says that the length is 10, but this is the distance between the two bases. And I told, and look, how are they using different words, right? They're using different words. They're telling you length, and they're asking you to find the height. But if you say it's 10, but that's not one of the answer choices. But if it was a numerical value or a gradable, you would have put in 10 in there. That's why it's important to know that the distance between the two bases is going to be the height of the prism. And this formula is related to the volume of the prism. Okay? What they want to know, what they want to know is going to be how tall is it? How big of a person can stand inside? Right? This is what is the height of the tent? So what I want to do I'm going to take this triangle and draw it on the side. This is 8. I'm looking for that H. And remember, for this, we need to know the area. Area, which is the area of the base, is base times height divided by 2. See how this height is not the same as this one? And we're looking for the one in the area formula, not the one in the volume formula. So we're going to have to work that one backwards regardless. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this formula and substitute everything that I know. Okay, and then work it backwards. So, V, I know volume is going to be 280 equals area of the base. I don't know the area of the base. However, I can use this whole formula and put it in there okay now for this one I can do a little bit of substitution because I know this B 
is going to be 8, right? So we can do 8 times the height divided by 2. That's going to take the place of the uppercase B. And then I'm going to have to multiply by the height, which is in this case 10. Let me color code this. That way you don't get confused. Let's use this one right here. Okay, so I have eight. The height is gonna be pink. The other height is 10, and this one was black. There you go. Everything's color coded, right? Oh, I forgot to put this. Uh, what color am I using? Divided by two. Again, this whole thing is the big B. This is volume, and this is H, right? There you go. Now we're gonna work it backwards. So I have to leave H by itself and we did something similar on the pyramid. So this is the same thing. The first thing that is on our way is that 10. So I'm gonna get rid of the 10. The 10 is multiplying. The opposite of multiplication is divide. So I'm gonna divide both sides by 10. This will cancel out and this will just give me 28 equals. 8h divided by 2. We're getting closer. Now what's on the way? Bef uh, what's farther away from the h? In this case, it's going to be the 2. What is the 2 doing? Well, the 2 is dividing. So the opposite of divide is actually multiply. So I'm going to multiply by 2. What I do to the one side must do to the other side. This cancels out. So 28 times 2, this is going to be 56 equals 8H. One more step. Divide by 8. What I do to one side, must do to the other side. So H equals 56 divided by 8 is what? 7? Seven? 7. So the height of the tent. All the work to find this H right there, which is now... 7. My answer is 7. That's how tall the tent is. That's how you work it backwards. You can also find the base of the of the base, like the you can find the base of the base using the same method if you needed to. If they give you the how tall that tent is, you can find the 8 if they wouldn't have given you the 8 using the same process. Well, I hope that you learned something today. With this, you should be able to do any of these problems. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. If you haven't, please go ahead and smash that notification bell on and, and the subscribe button. Other than that, that is it for this one, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.